I'm getting ready to sow my beans, and as you can see, I've made pots out of toilet rolls. There you go, it's fairly intact. I'm using toilet rolls for the first time, and I'm confident this is going to work. Watch till the end, because I'm going to tell you why I'm using toilet rolls, how I made these, um, and the theory behind it all. So I've been collecting toilet rolls over the last few weeks and as I've been getting them, I've been cutting them. As I've been cutting them, I'm, I'm realizing what the best way is to cut them. So I basically come to the conclusion, I cut about two centimeters above and then I skip about a centimeter and a half and I cut again. I just continue to do that all the way around. You don't have to be precise. And eventually, Put your fingers through one one side and just fold down fold down each flap firmly. That's okay. So I've got space, enough space for a few more pots. I just want to fill this up because that way all the pots are stable. The pots are in a tray, so as I water them, the tray's waterproof. So I think I'll get just to keep them more stable and more upright, I'll get another another one in, so that I'll, I'll demonstrate again. So, two centimetres and about a centimetre and a half gap. And just keep doing that all the way around. As I said, it does to be a bit accurate now. Through one side, put a couple of fingers, or three, depending on how big your hands are. My hands are not very big, so, and just fold down firmly. You may come up with a better idea, a better way of making them, but the idea is, these pots are biodegradable, obviously, because they're made of card. And once the plants have grown a few inches, the roots will be, you know, pretty much coming towards the edges of, of the pots. And eventually when, the, when I'm ready to um, plant this into the ground, I can just plant it directly into the ground and this card which will eventually decompose and just be part of the soil. That way, rather than potting, um, sowing in pots first and then eventually in the ground, using this method, the roots don't get disturbed. And if they don't get disturbed, then they grow a lot quicker. So in my experience in the past, I've noticed that with beans, if the roots get disturbed once they're in the ground, they take about about a week and a half or two weeks before they start growing again. And I think that's because of the shock that the, the plant gets from when the roots get disturbed. I have used paper pots before. So the paper pots um, that you can buy, I've used those before and they work very well. So with, from my experience, when I have used paper pots, the plants will carry on growing within a few days, they'll start growing again. So as opposed to if the roots are disturbed, they'll take up to two weeks before they start growing again. So that's from my experience. And I think it's really important um, that we can also use recycled material. And this is also, um, doesn't get thrown into the, um, the dump or the recycle center, and then it has to be recycled. You know, a little bit of um, zero carbon here. So it stays in my house and eventually de gets decomposed in the garden. So let me get my seeds. So here are the seeds. Uh, these are the curly um, Ainori or the curly hyacinth beans, and they grow in abundance. So um, I'm growing mainly these the, um, these sort of beans in my garden this year. Um, I'm reducing the varieties this year. So here is a, a type of Achocha seed, which I'm trying out for the first time. And, um, and here are some other beans, and these are a type of long bean stroke french bean uh, my uncle sent them from the united states and we've been growing them for a few years now so i'm just going to grow these so so these today and in some pots i'm going to sow two um just because i've got quite a lot of seeds and um they will eventually be growing in the same area anyway let's start sowing
Well, as you can see, every single pot has got two beans in, so, or two seeds in. So these are the Achocha seeds, um, a row of those, um, the French bean, um, straight long bean, and, and all the rest are the curly beans. So I've got some extras and I'll be giving some probably, giving some away to my sister or to anyone else. So what I want to do ideally, so ideally what I want to do is I want to have, so the white part pointing downwards. So I just push it down by about a centimetre or two. Yeah, about two centimetres actually would be perfect. So, so here's the seed and you can see that white part at the top that covers one of the ends and the other one, the other end is not covered. So that part that's covered, you want to push down about two centimeters, just like that. Two centimeters and just that way, the soil around it will cover it and it'll be at least a centimeter deep. Now, same with the French beans, just push, push them down for about a, a centimeter and also the achocha. And I'm not gonna actually label these. Um, I decided that it's going to be too difficult. I didn't bother writing anything on the on the pots because it's just going to wash away when I water them. So I decided that I'll keep the achocha here to separate that line to separate these um, beans uh, to uh, to these beans. Um, I'll be able to recognise what these beans are. As soon as I've watered it, I'm just going to put it in um, somewhere in, inside the house. As always, when I sow my seeds, I start them inside the house. It's important that you do. And eventually, as the weather warms up, we are at the beginning of April. So hopefully at the end of April, once these plants have reached a few inches tall, um, it will be fine to take them out. I plan to actually take them out into the greenhouse um, uh, before I plant them at outside. Um, so that's what I'll be doing guys. So hopefully some of these tips would have helped you. Um, try these pots out, good idea, they're free um, and good for the environment. Take care, catch up with you soon.